Hi, I'm CJ Elmerig with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. So this is really exciting. We're bringing you our very first National Western Stock Show display trailer for 2024, which we're about a month out right now. Uh, but this is a really cool trailer. We always try to put some unique features, show you some new items, uh, new options that are just really beneficial for you to really enjoy the trailer. So behind me is a 2024 Cimarron North Star Warm Blood two horse straight load. So let's go ahead and take a look at the drawing. That way we can show you how the trailer's laid out and show you some dimensions. So again, it's a straight load with a front tack room on it. Uh, this one has a side ramp, so we're actually gonna have a, a one foot offset on the partition wall. We added a little bit of length to the trailer, uh, about three foot in order to get you this side ramp. But you're 18 three on the floor. You have a three foot tongue. So truly you're 21 three from nose to tail on the trailer itself. It's seven seven tall, so you're extra tall with it being a warm blood straight load trailer. And then it's a standard 610 wide. So hang on, we're gonna go and show you a whole bunch of options. We don't wanna miss anything for you. Uh, but Cimarron, you're looking at all aluminum construction. You're an eight year uh, structure warranty, three year hardware warranty, one year no questions asked warranty on your tires. We'll talk a little bit more about that. Well, let's take a look at this. One thing you notice as you start approaching it is we went from the standard manual jack to an electric jack here, just because the trailer has a lot of extras on it. Uh, we've actually upgraded quite a few people recently to this on some bumper pulls. It's really nice because you've got, I'll show you when we get to the tack room, but you have a 12 volt battery. It's just up and down, so a lot simpler process. You have a light on there as well. A two and five sixteenths ball is what's going to be required on this one. If we start looking at the front of this, this diamond plate on the front. So standard is 18 inches tall. So it's about that high as standard. We've actually doubled this and gone to a 36 inch high with the diamond plate. It just protects, you know, from that road blast, shooting rocks back, kind of protect that front end of that nose a little bit more. You have the, the stainless sheet on the nose itself. And then you'll notice when you start working to the side of the trailer, it's silver metallic. So white is standard. Silver metallic is a really popular option. Charcoal, meta charcoal metallic is another popular option, black. There's an upcharge and you go from white to these colors here, um, but it gives a good look to the trailer. And then if you wanna do some customization, you can as well. So front tack room. Front tack room is actually gonna be on part of the nose itself. So that's why we wanted to protect it a little bit more. And then also, if you look up top, we did an eight inch awning light right there. Normally we do awning lights on the side, but we just felt like where this tack room was positioned, we wanted to go ahead and put that light directly above it. That way you can kind of see when you're in the dark. Uh, the switch for it is actually located right inside the door as well. Let me make sure I got the right one. I got the interior here as well. So as you come in, you're gonna notice first and foremost, you notice that step when we come in here. So we like putting steps on all of our trailers. And the reason why is, you know, these trailers are a little bit higher off the ground where the door frames are. You get these big heavy duty thresholds, uh, but that's because of what we want is we want that bracing around these doors. So you're gonna have a pretty big step from the bottom of these door frames to the ground. So ma making these transition does make a world of difference, especially when we get into this world here. Uh, maybe you're packing some totes with you, so you're packing those heavier duty items in and out. Um, it's nice to be able to have that coming in and out of your tack room. Brush tray on the door. Throw your mis smaller miscellaneous items there. We carpeted the entire wall door itself and then the tack room I'll show you here in a minute. We put you a set of bridle hooks right here so they're easily accessible right there from even ground level. And actually, if you look right inside, same thing, set of bridle hooks low for you, and then another set up high. These are aluminum powder coated, so they're really strong. Cimarron's done a great job designing these to give us some height and some depth off the wall good spacing in between. We understand you're gonna be hanging a lot of items and it's funny when you peek in trailers uh, in some older ones with smaller bridle hooks, um, you just notice whether it's lead ropes or reins, everything's kind of falling off, um, hanging on the ground. So 
a lot more just from the ability to hang in here. And then I like how we've, we've put these right here accessible from the ground. Obviously I'm in the trailer, so it's easier to reach up here. But when you're on ground level outside, it's really nice to reach in. That's why you have some on the door as well. And then there's that carpet. We carpeted the entire uh, front tack room on here to protect everything as far as, you know, nothing really rubbing against a aluminum sheet in here in this tack room. Behind me is going to be a recessed post. So it's into the wall itself. Two saddle rack pads, two blanket poles. If you want to add more, you can. If you want to change the sequencing, you can. You can spread them up, spread them down, take them completely out. You just loosen these nuts here. There's one on the top, one on the bottom, and you slide right out the top and out they go. So if you want to get rid of them, you can. If you want to change the sequence, the spacing, you just move them where you want, tighten them up, and then you're in business there. Spare tire located on that partition wall or the, the nose here. Here's our 12 volt battery I was telling you about that's gonna power that jack. And then we have a battery disconnect. So that's standard on these, on these uh, whether it's the electric or the electric over hydraulic jacks, you're gonna get the battery disconnect, which is fantastic. Cause I can reach in here and turn that off. Um, so when I go to park this, if I accidentally leave a tack light on, stall light on, load light on, I can turn that off and it'll kill all power so it's not gonna drain that battery right there. If you're gonna park this trailer, especially in the winter months for a long period of time <laughs> where you're not gonna be using it, um, it's not a bad idea to go ahead and take your battery out and store it you know, in your garage, somewhere like that, um, to where it's not gonna get in those really harsh freezing temperatures for a long time. Uh, that's a real easy way to ruin a battery um, besides letting them you know, drain down and then freeze and then you're having to replace that battery. So again, if you're not using it frequently, definitely take that out and store it during the winter time. Last thing on the floor, this is a gray rubber flooring. Uh, this has become very popular. We've done this on a lot of trailers. It started on the livestock show trailer world and we've incorporated over here on the horse side. Instead of rubber mats and carpet, so this is just me. I don't like carpet on the floors because I think that they can hold that stain and an odor over time when we're using them and you never get rid of it. So I like rubber mats or I like this really. Uh, this is definitely a nice feature that we've done and, and Cimarron's offered us. But you can see it's got a lot of grip because it's got that tread bright kind of design to it. But then the edges are sealed as well. So with the rubber mats, you know, dirt and everything can still get underneath them. Um, to where this is sealed on the edges, so it protects it. Again, a lot of grip. Uh, it's easy to still slide some totes if you need, um, but from the standpoint of just cleaning and, and what, how it'll look over time, this is a really good option here. And then we've got an LED light right in above the door as well. So when you come in, you have light in here. Um, this carpet kind of darkens it with it being gray, so it's nice to have those big LED lights in here. And then you've got a clothes bar right up above me as well, so you can hang some clothes in here. Uh, that way we're, they're not taking up space in the vehicle, uh, but also it keeps them nice and neat there. And then you have a window looking into the stall area. So what's nice about that is when you're traveling, um, if you need to, you can just stop, open up the tack door and just peek in there, check to see how everybody's doing back behind there. This trailer, all of the door latches and everything as far as what I'll show you on how these ramps are secured, everything's got the same key. So we only need one key for the entire trailer with this tack. Get in the stall area if you wanna lock it up, you can. So this is where this trailer really gets unique as well. So it's a two horse straight load bumper pull, which we build a lot of. Um, as you can see on the other side, we can see through this trailer. On the other side is just gonna be a man door. So on our standard option or our standard trailer, we're gonna have that door mirrored right over here. But in this one, we added a little bit of length and then we put the side ramp. So this is a walk on, walk off type scenario. Um, really cool design. Uh, our two plus ones or our head to heads are really popular with the side ramp to have the ability to walk on and off. Um, so you have your side ramp with your Dutch door up above it. These are actually really, they're well built but with the big springs, they're really easy to operate. As you can see, as it started getting up and it gets to a breaking point, I let go and it wants to suck into the trailer itself. 
You've got your latches that go across. It's going to secure it. Again, you can lock these. So again, same as the tack. And then you'll have your Dutch door up above it that's going to secure um, when you're in transport. Again, really easy to operate. And again, those springs make it really easy to open and close. You got a bar that goes across that opening. We'll show you that when we get into the stall area a little bit more. Uh, again, your, your Dutch door up above your ramp is going to have a bus window in it. So typically our, our escape doors that we have, and it'll, I'll show you when we get to the other side, but on these escape doors, they're going to have a drop window within there to get airflow. So with this one here, we're going to have to shut this uh, with the side ramp. But again, you've got the bus window option there uh, that you'll have to get some airflow in it. You got a couple tie rings out here. 16 inch awning light up above there. So again, a lot more exterior light coverage. And then we just added a few more button lights to this. We didn't go crazy, uh, just based on the length. You really don't need to, but we added a couple more just to kind of dress the trailer up. Those button lights are really nice. They put out a really good uh, amount of light, not a big power draw. Um, and again, they're not the bigger uh, protruding out, you know, rectang rectangular type lights that you see on some older trailers. Axles, you have two 5,200 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles on this. 16 inch wheels, black with a silver accent. And then these are nitrogen filled tires. That's what that green tab means. So we're not gonna have PSI levels fluctuating drastically uh, like you would see in, in just typical air. You can put air to these. Again, no questions asked warranty. If you catch a nail that can't be patched, road debris, a blowout, they'll replace it for the first year. You have electric brakes on this trailer, so you'll either need an integrated brake controller on your tow vehicle or an aftermarket. Our parts and service department can help you out with that if you need an aftermarket brake controller. Uh, this trailer as it sits is about 3,500, just a little over. Um, 3,550, I believe, is the official empty weight on it. Uh, we're just waiting for the MSO to show up from uh, Cimarron, and we'll have that official one. But based on the last one we had that was the exact same, just white, that was the empty weight on it. <clears throat> okay, you can see the Dutch door wrapped around on the back. Because on the back of this, we have our ramp with the Dutch doors up above. There's a couple different configurations. This is the most popular on our two plus one straight loads, uh, two horse bumper pulls like this, is this setup. So you have your rear ramp with your Dutch doors up above, no different than what we looked at on the side ramp there. So they wrap around and hook out of the way. If you want to travel with them open, you can. You can just, it's not a bad idea to lock those to just secure them, um, but you can for additional airflow. Same thing on this rear ramp. You know, it's a little bit bigger than the side ramp just because of the width of the trailer. But as you can see, it wants to go back towards the trailer itself and then set down. This is what's so cool about this is because now you can utilize this for additional things. Maybe you want to haul some toys. Um, you know, you can move this ramp out of or the divider out of the way, which I'm going to show you here in a second, which it already is, but you can load those type of items in here. Um, it's nice to have that ramp there. The other option is you can do dual doors with a ramp over. So you can do a 50-50 uh, rear door type setup and then do uh, the ramp over. But again, on this, this is the most popular option. Now, this is a two horse straight load. Well, this is what's so cool about this trailer is this divider is on these tracks that come off the ceiling and we can actually slide it and lock it over onto driver's side out of the way. So we can make this as a big box stall. Maybe you just want to have somebody kind of loose, give them a little bit more room on a long distance travel. Maybe you want to haul some mares and foals. Maybe you, again, you want to haul some toys. Make this as a, a multi-purpose trailer with the rear ramp in this type of a setup. You can utilize that. So as you can see, it's out of the way. I'm going to show you how it operates when we put it back. So I've got a couple pins in right now. I'll get it broke loose here for you. And we'll just make sure to show you how to operate it. So the best thing to do is just be in the middle and balance it. As you can see, it slides very easily. You just find the holes in the heavy UHMW plastic that's in the 
the floor and the ceiling itself where it locks in. And you're even gonna have one on the head grill because it, we want this head grill to swing. On our normal two plus ones where we have a larger box stall ahead of the horses, we actually like to build this whole thing solid. So this whole divider extends clear up to the head grill. So it's all just one piece. But in this instance, we don't have quite the distance with the box stall that we have uh, in those two plus ones. So we still gotta be able to walk a horse out of here. So it's easy to walk this horse out. But now this one, we gotta deal with this head grill to get around. So you just, you can unpin it. You've actually got a spot for it to pin in so it holds it back and then you can walk that horse out. So we did air flows on this. Gets you a lot of, again, airflow throughout the trailer, keeping horses nice and cool. Because again, you know, we've got bus windows. We're gonna have bus windows over the hips. We have one drop window, but we want airflow. So airflow dividers, stud divider, and it's because of this design, in order to slide it over against the wall, uh, we need it as one big piece. Um, pads on the divider itself to protect horses as well. Then you've got your chest bars, your butt bars, that are gonna have the bolster pads on them. Kick mats all around. Again, there's a good look at the bus window up above. Large bus window. I mean, this thing's huge. Only half of it's going to open, so that's why it's nice to have it so large so we can slide it and get it open there. LED lights. More of those in here. A lot of tie rings throughout it. And then we've actually done a couple fans in here as well so we can create some more airflow. So we have one here at the rear, one up at the front. You can kind of create a cross breeze, um, but it's on a switch back here the back of the trailer we can just turn those guys on that way you've got airflow for your horses in there which is really nice especially if you're maybe you hit some traffic where it's stopped you don't have that airflow actually running through the trailer or you're at an event you know waiting to check in somewhere along those lines as the horses are just sitting here you can create that airflow for them and i always tell everybody think about those real hot days where there's no air movement and it's just miserable you get a little breeze and it, you just feel a bit more comfortable. Um, it's definitely nice to have that type of an option there. Speaking of just keeping this cooler, let's talk about the roof on the Cimarron. So this is standard on every single trailer that Cimarron builds. Doesn't matter if it's this, doesn't matter if it's a big trainer, eight horse or a mon monster living quarters. Every one of them has that roof. So it's a half inch thick, it's reinforced. It's got a honeycomb design to it. It'll withstand 150 pounds per square foot. So I can walk on the roof. I don't have to find these roof bows, um, but it's really stout. Uh, aluminum sheeted trailers, I need to find these roof bows when I'm up there, because if not, I'll put a big divot in the, the roof itself. What's more important is, is what it does for temperature control here in the stall. So it'll keep this staller at 20% cooler than an aluminum sheeted roof. Think about that on a really hot day, how much cooler these trailers and these horses are because of that roof. And again, that's standard on every single Cimarron. Then if we go to the flip side of it and what we're standing on, we're standing on the industry's best floor. So this is a 12 inch extruded piece of aluminum that's tongue and groove high and low. It locks together, it gains strength even as you start piecing it all together itself, but four inch centers. So picture the hoof size of your horse, wherever they're standing on a Cimarron floor, they're standing on a support beam. When you start to spread centers, those are the I beams that run across the trailer the full length. That's where you get those low spots, those pits. That's where urine will collect, causing corrosion. So, industry's best floor they're standing on here. And then we're gonna cap it off with worm flooring in this instance rather than rubber mats. So because of these moving dividers and the hardware in the floor, you'd have to cut those pieces out. And nobody ever really likes to pull those mats out to clean floors. You have to do that on all these aluminum trailers. But in order to get them put back how it should, it's just difficult. So in this instance here, we said, you know what? We'll scrap that. We'll put the worm flooring. It's permanent, it's unpenetrable. All you have to do is muck out your solids. If you want to, you nose it up a little bit, hop through the side ramp, your side door with a power washer, hose it out and then just let it dry. Um, so this is really nice flooring. It's got a good amount of grip to it. 
It's got some cushioning to it as well. They've been around a long time and we're incorporating a lot of worm flooring on our trailers um, here over the last couple years. So again, what a cool setup we have in this stall area um, with a ton of extras and options, especially this divider. That makes a world of difference when you want a versatile trailer. Again, whether it's hauling toys, having the ability to have you know, a horse have a lot more space in there, the mares and foals type scenario. Again, uh, just a really cool setup with that moving divider. We're doing this on a ton of these head-to-head -head trailers. Doesn't matter if it's this, doesn't matter if it's our four horse, six horse head-to-heads, or two plus ones, such a popular option. This concept actually came from our show cattle trailers that Cimarron builds. The gate just happens to be across the trailer and we move it forward or backwards. Um, so same thing, we just moved it, flipped it, and we slide it over to the wall itself. Nice feature that we're putting on a, a lot of our inventory is a backup light. Now granted, this isn't a big, long trailer by any means, but think about where your backup lights are on your tow vehicle. They're still 21, 22 feet away based on the length of this trailer. It's nice to be able to put it in reverse, have those light up, and when you're in familiar territory, getting home late at night, those type of places, it's nice to have that light back here. Never have enough. Another eight inch awning light here at the back. All the switches are right here at the back of the trailer, so they're really easy to operate. And it's nice that they're on uh, individual switches as well. Same thing, wrap around, big bus window. You've got your 16 inch awning light there as well. And then you've got your escape door. So this is really nice too, as you're loading horses, you can have your side ramp up so you can load and still sneak out this door or hop in from the stall area uh, from right here as well. So you've got, you've got some options. Uh, it's nice that that, that ramp is on uh, curbside, doors on, dry, on street side. So again, if you're in traffic and you need to hop in there, again, you can check on horses through the front tack in that window or hop in right here. And then on this door, like I mentioned, there's that fold down feed door with the jail bars across it. Those will drop down too, if you'd like. But you can, again, a lot of airflow by having these drop windows. And again, you can lock that up. You can lock the door, everything from right here. And that's a good look at the silver metallic. I think it works really well. Again, with the black wheels, with the silver accents, you're gonna have those black frames on all your windows. You throw in the extrusion and then the silver metallic again is a, is a good, good look. In, in, it's a little bit cloudier today, um, so it's gonna be a little bit darker. When you get it in direct sun, it's gonna lighten up. Um, so again, it works really well with a lot of just color options in today's tow vehicles. So I'm gonna give you the stock number on it. Again, this trailer's available, unfortunately. We're gonna take it to stock show, so you can't have it till the show's over. So late in January, this trailer will be available to drive out of here. Again, it's a 2024 Cimarron North Star Warmblood two horse bumper pull, five in, two, three, one, three, one, seven. We do take trade-ins, whether you're upgrading, downsizing, we can help you out there. Financing is available and delivery is an option as well. So we could potentially bring this to you. So give us a call. Anybody on our sales team can help you out. That number is 303-684-3400. We appreciate you tuning in. Have a good day.